Our work is about a new way of generating a strong quasi-continuous monochromatic terahertz wave from interaction of short laser pulses and a magnetized plasma. In this method, we prepare a laser pulse and a plasma. The plasma has a density gradient so, so that a radiation can be extracted. We split the laser pulse into two smaller pulses. The first pulse frequency is omega-1 and the second pulse frequency is slightly detuned so that the frequency difference of those two pulses match the plasma frequency. Then we let the pulses counter-propagate through a plasma and collide at the knee of the density gradient. Then the bit of the two pulses resonantly generates a strong localized electron current at around the collision point. This current oscillates with the plasma frequency, but this oscillation is basically longitudinal and electrostatic, so it cannot radiate any electromagnetic wave. By adding an external magnetic field of a few tesla, this longitudinal current can be partially converted to a transverse one, which is electromagnetic. From the transverse component of this oscillation, a radiation is emitted. Here the radiation frequency is the same as the plasma frequency, which is determined by the plasma density. For typical plasma densities of laser plasma interactions, this frequency comes into a few terahertz regime. In this method, there are two factors to enable an intense terahertz radiation. One is the strong ponderative force by counter-propagating laser pulses. The other is the diffusion growth of electric field under cut-off condition. Let's see them one by one. A single laser pulse leaves behind a wave-like electron current in a plasma whose amplitude is proportional to the driving laser intensity divided by the pulse duration. On the other hand, the counter pulses yield a much stronger but localized current oscillation. Even after averaging the fast oscillation in space, there still remains a strong nonlinear current. The amplitude of this nonlinear current is proportional to the intensity square divided by the wavelength square. Since the wavelength is much shorter than the pulse duration, usually the local current amplitude by counter pulses is higher than that driven by a single pulse. The other origin of the enhanced radiation is the diffusion and growth of the electric field near cutoff. As long as we understand, this concept is introduced for the first time in this paper. When a current source is located near cutoff condition of a plasma, the electric field can be described by this non-stationary envelope equation. Because we neglected the second time derivative assuming a slowly varying envelope, this equation takes a form of driven diffusion equation with a complex diffusion coefficient. From analytic calculation and simulations, we observe that the electric field temporarily grows under this condition. By colliding counterparts near the edge of the density gradient, we could accomplish growth of the field as well as the extraction of radiation into vacuum. The longer the gradient length is, the stronger the radiation amplitude is. This figure shows the simulation results of enhanced terahertz radiation amplitude as the gradient length increases. Finally, let us show you a movie of terahertz radiation obtained from a one-dimensional peak simulation. At around the first collision position, electron current is generated, and from this oscillating current, a radiation is emitted. 